Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor is hearing from lawmakers who say they want to investigate how the county is handling undocumented immigrants. Rebecca. Yeah, Mary and Kai, according to ICE, within a year span, dozens of undocumented immigrants who were supposed to remain locked up were instead let out in Baltimore County. It's sparking outrage among some lawmakers who are now calling for change. When an undocumented immigrant is charged with a crime, typically ICE will ask local authorities to hold the suspect until federal agents can take over. But in Baltimore County, those requests frequently going ignored. Between October 22 to September 2023, ICE filing 81 detainer requests in Baltimore County, 70% of which ICE says were not honored. Baltimore County Police revealing to Fox 45 they don't keep track of the dismissed detainers or the suspects' cases. The department only saying they followed the guidance provided by the Maryland Attorney General and will not hold someone without a lawful basis. As a sanctuary jurisdiction, the numbers seemingly aligning with a 2017 order by then County Executive Kevin Kamenetz prohibiting police from arresting undocumented immigrants solely on immigration status. It's just shocking. Baltimore County State Delegates Ryan and Rocky and Kathy Shalega calling the data deeply disturbing and vowing to investigate. The detainers that they're putting out are not just for um, a person that's been committed, say, of jaywalking or some sort of, um, you know, nonviolent crime. The detainers that they're putting out are for people that are violent offenders uh, and for those that have been convicted of uh, rapes and sexual assaults, pedophiles, things like that. Naraki arguing both police and the public safety is being put at risk. The detainer is only for 48 hours, so it's not as if you're asking the county to um, hold an individual for, for weeks or months. Naraki also pointing to how these cases are being handled in neighboring jurisdictions, including Montgomery and Carroll County. Montgomery County, the, the uh, self-professed most progressive county in the state of Maryland, is cooperating with ICE and handing over um, these violent offenders to ICE. They figured out how to, to get this right. Baltimore County should be able to do so as well. Our people in this county would take a very dim view if uh, if if these people were just, you know, caught and released. Carroll County State's Attorney Haven Shoemaker echoing the lawmakers' concerns. You know, it's incumbent upon us as, as prosecutors, I believe, to uh, uphold all the law, including, you know, the federal immigration laws. Concerns being raised as news breaks, one of those released a convicted sex offender sentenced to six years. But according to DHS, a Baltimore County judge suspending all time behind bars. Do you think that Baltimore County should change their policies? Well, if I were the county executive of Baltimore County, I would. Now today I also reached out to current county executive Johnny Olszewski for his thoughts on these present policies. But as of news time tonight, his office is declining to comment. Reporting live in Baltimore, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.